I'm Angie Zapata. And I'm Candace Kuby. And I'm Jay Johnson Teal. We are talking about the article, Encounters with Writing, Becoming with Posthumanist Ethics. We engage posthuman philosophies as an ethical endeavor to further explore and cultivate more inclusive orientations for writing. Rethinking writing is a matter of ethics for us as it animates the complexities of writing as intricate and dynamic relationships that emerge under particular conditions of possibility. As we delve into the multiple and potential ways writing might be produced, we do so using the theoretical tool of diffraction. Diffractive practices explore the differences that are made on and in the world by asking, what do these data and theories produce? In this article, we share from individual research projects by embracing diffractive readings to explore what literacies become possible when we think with posthuman theories. These are the questions we each explored. What is produced when we shift the focus from the human and reimagine writing from a posthumanist perspective? What might writing become? What might writing do? How is writing produced differently, socially, culturally, politically, economically, when all bodies are considered lively? What is possible for literacies when all writing bodies are paid attention to? What writing processes and texts are produced when standardized written English is decentered and more expansive views of languaging as a translingual assemblage invigorate writing classrooms? Rather than understanding writing solely as outcomes and bound products and processes, writing might be better understood as practices and processes of potentialities, or the not yet known, as our three examples illustrate. Reimagining writing invites us all to revisit how we conceptualize writing as material discursive becomings shaped by the contextual demands of space, time, and all bodies that can together deliberately work to resist and potentially transform writing pedagogy, assessment, policy, and research from hegemonic and neoliberal forces. We find much hopefulness in posthumanism and are energized by the ethical orientation at the heart of this work.